Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to talk to you about the new Peter Paget book which um, claims to suggest that Peter Paget had worked in a role as a secret agent, MI5 spook infiltrator of various groups and whatnot. And um, all of this, I believe, has been generated uh, because of uh, outrage and shock by some people not by me but you know by some people um, that perhaps Peter had claimed multiple benefits under multiple names which obviously is a untenable and crazy situation um, but in order to kind of defend himself defend his good name you know that uh, that he had a very good reason to be claiming multiple benefits under multiple names yeah um, because he, he felt he had a right to do that um, he really needs to kind of like make face back up now and uh, so he's released this book which by the way wasn't actually released until the day the very same day within an hour or so of me putting up my video um, challenging him on the Miles Johnson bases talk he gave. Now, here's here's the basic problem with all of this, right? Before we even get into the book, and um, I'm probably going to deal with the book in a in a separate video because it's. I know I've from last night. It took me two hours. I've recorded two hours of points in this book, and I just don't know how I'm going to edit it down. To be honest, I mean there are so many things that are said in this book, which, to me, um, seem to provide evidence of a uh, a simple mind you know something not quite right uh, going on there in my opinion um, or that uh, there's just direct fabrication going on um, nothing but pure fabrication uh, some of it even wanders into talking about me with things that I know are patently not true so where Paget is getting this information from is anyone's guess but um, the problem is this is the big this is the big elephant in the room okay this is the the major elephant in the room which is why I think everyone needs to kind of realize what's going on here and not accept it you know you should not be accepting what this guy is saying um, this is my opinion the guy says he worked for the security services now there you go in a nutshell straight away before we even go any further red flag red flag is flying you know above this guy right anyone who works for the security services um, you have to question who are they loyal to and what sort of information can you expect from them and can it be trusted because these are the people who think that they lord it you know they lord over politicians and leaders and rulers and these are the people that think that they can go out assassinating people and putting other governments in power um, in different countries they believe that they can uh, infiltrate organizations unions businesses anything they want anywhere where they want to exert some influence they can send secret agents in and extract information which can be used for bribery and extortion basically in order to to realize change that they want that is nothing to do with government you know it can be to do with what they want so this secret echelon of fucking power that exists in our country you know when somebody comes along and says yeah I work for them I'm a fucking good guy I'm a good guy I work for this secret fucking power structure I'm kind of like saying to myself hang on a minute is this guy fucking real is this guy real you know he claims to have been a an agent for the last 50 or so years which means that throughout the whole period of his writing books on the UFO subject 
he was an agent and he says in the book now i'm not going to go into it in detail here he says in the book how he infiltrated groups and organizations in order to report back to the americans on the ufo subject so this means that he didn't tell people this when he was writing his books and he didn't tell people this when he was a ufo researcher and he was pretending to be their friend and sidle up to them and get little tidbits of information he was feeding all of this he was feeding everything back to his masters and do you think that's good do you think that's cool i'm really surprised the fucking wanker has got a nerve to stand up on a stage and go you know here i am folks i'm a real patriot i am i'm a real patriot you should like me you don't know how much good work i've done for this country yeah and people are wearing that people are listening to that bullshit yeah after this guy in this book says things which amount to his words and his investigations and his deeds led to assassinations actual assassinations he says but he doesn't he, he has a like a disconnect then there's a disconnect between what he's done there in getting people assassinated yeah and the real fucking world which is hang on don't we have a rule of justice in this country this is on british soil people assassinated hello hello wakey fucking wakey earth calling mr paget whose name isn't really fucking paget anyway it's peter fisher now i gotta say this guy's story just doesn't add up right i mean right off the word go it doesn't add up okay um there are a number of things in there which seem like the most retarded backwards logic things you wouldn't do if you were a intelligent person let alone working in the security services you know things that would have put his own position and and life in peril and possibly the lives of others just by his own actions which are glaringly obvious in this book i mean you know this guy there's no way that anyone would trust this guy i mean he's a he's a he's a fucking loose cannon he's a complete loose cannon by his own words in his own book you know i don't know if he actually realizes what he's written in this book i mean it appears that the book's been pushed out in haste which might be because of my questioning him on these matters and he feels like oh you know I'll, I'll kind of give in give matt what he wants give in some information to to validate who i am but there's no validation he's he's taken out the names of the people involved he's he's not put the names of the places you know it's all stripped it's all redacted this is this is like a book about something about somebody somewhere when something happened to somebody else it's like that yeah i mean now he also says in this book right at the beginning and he says it a number of times throughout it yeah you know when you're in the intelligence service the truth is often sandwiched on both sides the truth sandwiched by two lies or perhaps it's two truths with one lie so the guy is basically saying to you i'm lying to you i am lying to you that's what he's saying he's warning you not to trust what's in the book <laughs> he can't he can't even tell you if it's fact or fiction you know you've got to make your own mind up and he talks this meandering fucking boring story which goes everything from fucking james bond to oh i like cats cats are very funny i love the way they run around and stuff like that you know i mean it's just driveling fucking nonsense most of the time i've got to be perfectly honest i it was a hard read because it was so so badly written um chapters were in the wrong order I mean, like, you know, you read a chapter where, where something's happened and then, and then the next chapter you go back in time. And it's, it's like, it's so fucking annoying because this is supposed to be like a factual book, a biography, and yet it's jumping forwards and backwards. You know, and uh, things are revealed in the wrong order. You know, things are revealed. And I say badly written, I'm not kidding. There are parts in this book 
where he introduces characters um, like you know he introduces a young girl called Shana um, and he says she was all woman and she was four years old and I'm like what is he trying what, what, what's he trying to say here what, what is he on about you know I mean this is just like a myriad I'm telling you this fucking book is full of things that don't make sense they just don't make any fucking sense and there are characters in there he doesn't tell you who they are they just pop in by name and pop out again and it's like well who the fuck was that you know what do they have to do with the price of fish you know it makes no sense no sense at all but the most alarming thing is how by his own admission he's a loose cannon um if it was true he worked for the security services um he basically was trying to not only write his own book about his time in the security services which is a big no no they don't allow that yeah and also he was he was trying to encourage or oversee and edit other people's books on working in the security service <laughs> and then he says oh yes they tried to kill me because he's such a fucking james bond they tried to kill him and they came after him and tried to shoot him and he got away because he's such a fucking james bond bear in mind now he's never had any training <laughs> to be any sort of agent okay he's never been trained or if he was he didn't mention it in the book so we don't know he's got any training if he has any training because he didn't mention it in the book which is kind of a bit of an admission it's an admission isn't it it's a fucking admission admission oh mission you know when you leave out something like that yeah so he's not trained yeah but he's wandering around with fucking firearms uh don't think that would happen sorry no i don't think that would happen no 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 so he's wandering around with firearms and then he's shot at and he manages to get away because he's such a fucking james bond bearing in mind he hasn't been trained um and you know he's he's on the run around europe and then what does he do the most logical thing of all the british government were trying to kill him they tried to bomb his car and they tried to shoot him so where does he go back to the uk and signs on with the benefits office <laughs> yeah so of course they obviously tried to kill him don't they in, in the uk they they obviously they do they tried to bump him off i mean they've got loads of agents in the uk it'd be really easy to, to bump him off make him disappear in the middle of, no 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 that doesn't happen no when he comes to the uk they just leave him alone to claim his multiple benefits and you know and, and just carry on his life as normal you know some some magic wand has been waved because he's decided to come back onto the uk soil they're now not going to kill him or bump him off anymore when they've gone to such fucking lengths to do that overseas really really the guy's taking a piss the guy's taking a piss he doesn't know how to write a fucking cohesive story he doesn't even know how to make it fucking fit yeah on the one hand he's talking about you know the importance of in, of secrecy and how you've got to be clever and undercover so nobody knows where you are and then the next thing then he's talking about being a fucking spy handler and whilst he's looking after all these fucking spies you know that he's supposed to be dealing with in in a in a hostel hotel type situation he's got set up you know a safe house yeah whilst he's supposed to be keeping these people fucking safe the stupid fucking moron goes out with a camera and starts fucking hassling the local fucking mafia in the middle of town the local fucking the local crims he gets out of his car and he starts taking photos of him he's like yeah, i'll show them yeah, yeah, photos oh, look can you see me i'm taking photos of you can you see me i'm taking photos of you yeah, 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 yeah. and he's like that you know red flag red flag above peter's head red flag i'm being a dickhead i'm being a dickhead look at me i'm being a fucking dickhead right what if they took notice of him doing that followed him back to his fucking hotel full of spies who are meant to be there in secret and start causing fucking trouble what if the police get involved they go hey what's this fucking what's this retreat full of all these fucking spies and and what you know what the fuck the guy the guy by his own fucking story is a fucking 
moron moron fucking moron there are things in the book that we ha have been able to check he says that he he's ghost written books for granada he doesn't say which ones he says he's been a television researcher and he won awards from the royal television society we check with the royal television society he's not been given any awards nor the people he claimed he was with michael cole and the tv program for east anglia television called weekend they didn't they're not they're not there they're not there. The Royal Television Society has very detailed records of every single award they've given to every single person, and for some fucking strange reason, his name's not there. <laughs> go figure. Mm. Ah. Oh. Yeah, go fucking figure that one out, yeah? The guy is wall-to-wall -wall bullshit. Right? From start to end, top to fucking bottom, front to back, inside and out fucking bullshit you know i can't believe a fucking word of it and 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 to top it all off right how many fucking wives and girlfriends this guy's had and in the book right which is supposed to be his memoir he's supposed to be his memoir these people are, are dealt with like like this this is how he deals with them you know oh yes things weren't going very well with uh blah so we split up but it was all right it was amicable anyway i met this new woman and she was great and then we fell totally in love I was like, oh, okay, right, okay. Do we we never find anything about his kids, about his interaction with his kids, or you know, anything you know that he does, or like great events in his in his life to do with his family? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, to do with his. And then like chapters go by where he's James Bond, he's fucking James Bond, and he's chasing the guys, and he's the best agent in the world. By the way, did I tell you I was the best agent in the world? I'm the fucking best. Everyone loves me. I get loads of commendations. I'm so fucking good. Oh, to the Peter Paget. Oh, to the Peter Paget. Oh, to the Peter Paget. I'm so fucking good. Did I tell you I can fly planes? Did I tell you I've got a brilliant mathematical and formulative mind? I'm fucking great. I was better than everyone everybody else and better 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 bigger 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 faster 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 than everyone else yeah oh then then um i split up with my wife again and uh, anyway she went off her separate way but then i met this new woman and it was really great i met her and we got married straight away and i had a kid with her anyway right i'm james bond i'm james bond james bond james bond james bond oh yeah yeah well i split up with her anyway and uh, i got another one and uh, we had another kid and anyway james bond james bond james bond, james bond and it's literally like you know these it's like what you know are these are these fucking people in your life that you marry are they like fucking are they like wafer thin or something you know this is like how much they mean to your fucking story of your fucking memoirs of your life yeah it's all fucking boys stories boys fucking stories not backed up with any proof no proof names changed nothing that can be verified a lot that can be unverified there's fucking stuff in here which is just like poached out of other people's books and is just a is an absolute absolute load of crap and then there are things like he said um, he worked with edgar mitchell you know the uh, the nasa scientist of course he was spying on edgar mitchell edgar mitchell told him that he had his teeth filed down he had to have all his teeth all of them filed down all the way down to the roots filed down so that there was no possibility that they could get bad teeth whilst they were in space how long were they in space for there was a possibility they might get some dental problems whilst they were in sp how long how long were they in space for we're not talking like fucking years we're not even talking months weeks yeah and they filed all their fucking teeth down well apparently that's a fucking great nasa hoax if you look on the fucking web it's one of the hoaxes nasa get asked a lot do you actually file everyone's teeth down because it's a stupid fucking hoax it's in his book as fact it's in his book as fact you know there's loads of stuff in there like that <laughs> you know he said oh here we go right i shouldn't really be going into this because i can go into this in great fucking depth he, he's talking like you know i'm a special secret agent i'm telling you that they took down the twin towers with a suitcase nuclear bomb yeah he names it as well he calls it like a w54 or something yeah he goes oh it's a w54 suitcase bomb yeah and they took it down and that explains the free fall because it's a nuclear explosion nuclear suitcase boo yeah well the thing about a nuclear suitcase is indeed it goes boo 
yeah it doesn't go boof upwards only yeah any fucking explosive goes out all fucking directions yeah so if it had done that the twin towers would have gone like this out from the middle wouldn't they you fucking moron yeah which would have been caught on footage they wouldn't have just gone like this oh wait we've, we've got a nuclear bomb right in the middle here right ready nuclear bomb ready bomb Boof. <laughs> what the fuck here we go nuclear bomb Boof. yeah that's not how it works he said that the the, the towers were vaporized they were vaporized yeah well hang on then okay let's try another scenario nuclear bombs here in the middle right these are the, this is the the tower yeah right nuclear bomb goes off and it goes poof and disappears this part of the fucking tower now disappears into fucking dust Pew. yeah and the bit on top goes bang into that bit i didn't see that happening did you i didn't see that happen I don't know. Did anybody see that happen? I didn't see that happen. Right, okay. If that wasn't fucking fun, funny enough, if that wasn't funny enough, do you know what happens when you set nuclear fucking bombs off? You get a thing called an electromagnetic pulse, an EMP. It knocks all electronics out for a vast fucking distance around. Cameras would be interfered with. You'd get interference, static being picked up on video cameras and things like this you'd you'd have all the telephone systems all the lights all the electric all the power you know all that fucking stuff would be blown out yeah for for a for a large distance around the twin towers i don't remember this being part of the narrative do you did did anybody say that any of this happened uh, you know like all their electronics were blown out all around the twin tower when that happened twice not one time, twice, yeah. I mean, fucking people were people were on their phones. People were f standing under there with video cameras, going, "It's coming down! It's coming down!" And they're fucking like they're standing right next to it. Hang on a minute, they ca their fucking camera wouldn't be working. That camera would not be working. Right, okay. Fourth fucking fourth reason. Okay, right, Mister Paget, have you got a brain cell? This guy said he's he was like he's got A levels in fucking physics and advanced math. And he's a real fucking brain box. But he puts bullshit like this in his fucking book. Yeah? Right? Fourth thing. Nuclear weapons leave radiation. Nuclear weapons leave radiation and fall out. They tend to fucking go everywhere and then it can be picked up for ages because fine little particles of fucking nuclear material will remain radioactive for millions of fucking years you can detect it with a geiger counter so everybody going around new york near that area would have had fucking radioactive dust in their lungs they would have had radioactive fucking dust all over the floor yeah i mean fucking come on peter no it's bull it's fucking bullshit the book is bullshit from start to fucking finish and you know do not pay this guy any fucking money that's the that's the main point i want to make right if you had a UFO organization, much like the one in Warminster, in Warminster, when the Warminster UFO flap was happening, you know, he bought a guest house there. He bought a guest house, you know. Um, you know, he was, he was bringing people in to stay and visit. And when they were staying there, they were staying with a secret agent, now he says, who was feeding all the information back. So that's nice to know, isn't it? If you stayed in his guest house in Warminster, he was a spy, and he was spying on you. And he thinks that's something to be proud of. He thinks this is a fucking... He thinks he should write it up in a book, because he's really proud of it. And then put fucking a, 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 dollar, a dollar price tag on this. He wants you to pay $7.99 for his book that tells you that he basically went, eh, eh, I'm a secret agent, and fuck you, fuck you, I'm a secret agent, heh, 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 I was spying on you all, and you can buy, you can pay to find out. Do you know what, mate? Let me tell you this, right? Multiple benefits fraud, yeah? You're a greedy fucker. Greedy, greedy, greedy fucker, yeah? 
because anyone can claim one benefit yeah that's fine you can claim a benefit if you're entitled to it you claim three fucking benefits you're a greedy fucker do you know what that tells me about you you're a con artist you're a fucking con artist yeah and by definition if what you say is true and you were a spy then you're a con artist because that's what fucking spies do isn't it they lie they lie to all those people around them they fucking lie in their face they lie at them and they fucking feed anything they can back you know he says in there oh yeah my job was to to get fucking sordid information about people's relationships sexual peculiarities whatever we could use to to blackmail people with so bear in mind any interactions you've ever had with peter paget anyone who knows this guy right this is what he was into yeah finding out anything and everything he could about you to fucking destroy you and he, he boasts about it in the fucking book this is what he does yeah so do you want to pay this guy any money do you want to buy that book do you want to fucking line his pocket anymore with with this fucking this bullshit yeah towards the end of the book he makes the claim that he won um he well he made the claim in his lecture that he won his case against the benefits fraud yeah he's there on stage he's bold as fuck he says yes i got him to drop these charges drop these charges and i fought them and then it was just down to one charge left he said and i fucking beat them on that i won i won i won in this book the uh, perhaps real uh, story comes out a little bit more which was that um he actually pleaded guilty which is what we already knew he pleaded guilty so uh why are you standing up on stage fucking telling people you won for then peter are you a fucking are you a complete and utter twat uh, I think I know the answer to that. Let's just not an let's not answer that one. I think we know the answer to that one. Um, yeah, so don't be buying this guy's books and um, don't be buying any of his re-released books because obviously, yeah, they're written on the premise of uh, somebody who will hide stuff from you and not tell you the fucking truth. So don't go go giving any of your fucking future money to this guy um, in any way, shape, or form because I think he's had more than enough of your money under false pretenses as it is. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's it's time for that to fucking stop, isn't it? Yeah, it's time for the fucking little money train towards Mr. Fucking Con Artist, Liar, Spy, uh, Infiltrator, Mr. Fucking Paget. It's time for that little money fucking train to stop from the UFO community. So uh, if you've been watching this for 27 minutes, sorry it's quite long. Um, if I do the point by point, blow by blow um, thing on what's in the book, you are going to fucking cry it's going to be a two hour video and it's going to be really fucking boring i suppose it needs to be done because if you can't work out for yourself when you're reading the book what's fucking wrong with it i will help you to understand what is wrong with it um and it might make you not want to buy the book which will be probably a lot better for you and a much better thing that you don't waste your fucking life reading bullshit but that aside, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, you know, if you want to read this fucking stuff for yourself, it is fucking hysterical and sad. And I think it's really proof of either mental fucking illness or extremely bad fucking fabrication. Um, I can't believe... I can't I can't take it seriously as this guy worked for the fucking security services. This is just all made up. It's all made up, in my opinion, simply to get this guy off the fucking hook with the public because of the benefits fraud thing being embar being an embarrassment he just wants to paint himself as no no black is white white is black and and i'm i'm fucking right and the rest of the world is wrong and it isn't the first time this has happened to him actually if you read the book there's there's a story in there about how he was cure, trying to cure people of cancer you know yeah he had a absolute and he still said in the book it's there it cured cancer cancer's gone cancer game over cancer cancer doesn't exist now because because peter's got a cure for cancer and it's fucking there well don't you think folks if peter had a cure for cancer which he was charging people money for you know he would charge them money to be cured of cancer and take their money con artist 
Um, yeah, right. Fucking taking money off people, claiming to be a therapist when he wasn't trained in it. You know, he self-trained. You know, by looking at what others were doing. Uh, yeah, uh, treating people for physiotherapy and osteopathy, Ugh, cracking people's bones back in, and he wasn't fucking trained. Um, yeah, yeah. But the big one, the big C, and I don't. It's not the big C for cunt. Well, it is. No, the big C for cancer. Well, it may be in his case it should be a really big c which is in three dimensions which is for i'm a cunt and i tried to cure cancer right that sort of c uh you know a three-dimensional c um which is uh pretty sad really isn't it you know um he got pulled up by the police for it you know for practicing medicine without a license and you know what is you know what his response was like his response many times in this fucking book I suppose you do have to read it to believe it. You have to read this book to fucking believe this guy when you can't believe him. You know, you have to read it to believe it. You no, know, you have to read it to kind of uh, to 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 think to yourself and somebody did this shit. Somebody actually did this shit. Well, here's what happened. The police turn up at his house and arrest him for being a fucking fake healer, right? And you know what he does? He reads the police the riot act. I'm going to tell you how you're going to investigate and you're going to do it this way and fucking this is how it's done. And rah, 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 rah. Yeah. It's fucking unreal. It's absolutely fucking unreal. I, 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 you, maybe you should read the book, but certainly don't pay for it. Make sure you get a fucking copy. Um, it's 120 pages of bollocks. And if you take that as double-sided, then his whole memoir comes out to be like a 50-page double-sided fucking book, which is uh, not very impressive, is it? So uh, um, if you want to get his pamphlet um, about how he fooled the fucking world with his bullshit and lies and he's actually doing it by writing this fucking book, then you're more than welcome. So thanks very much for watching.